Number 15 then from the 2016 Advanced Maths. There we go, 10 marks for the second order differential equation. Now look, and it's not bad because you've got this little polynomial over here on the right hand side. So that's not going to clash with something you've found previously. And given these initial conditions, you can go all the way down to a particular solution. Well, standard technique. First of all, let's solve the homogeneous equation, the equation equal to zero. So we're going to form the auxiliary equation. Don't need to write these bits down, but I tend to do it anyway. So the auxiliary equation is formed by these three coefficients. m squared plus five lots of m plus six equals zero. Since for the homogeneous function, the solution to that, where you've got something and its derivatives all somehow make zero, they must all be the same, they'll be e to the power something, e to the mx's, and those are just the m's from it. Anyway, it doesn't matter whether you know that or not, that gets you a mark, and then factorise it. Multiply to give 6 and add to give 5, that's 2 and 3, and they're both positive, so that means m is equal to negative 2 and m is equal to negative 3. Don't get a mark yet, so now you can form your complementary function. You get this one for free, and that will be y is equal to, now either of those would work on their own, and so would a linear combination of them. So you do that, you take a linear combination of the two, remember, that's just the multiple and the power of the e to the x. So any amount of e to the negative 2x plus any amount of e to the negative 3x would all work and give you an answer of zero for this part. That gets you a mark. Now what about the particular integral? What could work to produce this? Well, it's a quadratic, so obviously try a quadratic. I've used A and B already, so I'll go for C. Cx squared plus dx plus e, and in fact just writing down that gets you the third mark. Now I need to feed this in. So I'll need the two, two derivatives. So the first derivative will be 2cx, and that'll just be plus d. And the second derivative will be just 2c. Doing that gets a mark. Now I need to feed these into this. But I think instead of feeding them in and having a big long line, I think I'll just take a note of these and then put the result of it having been fed in. Because after all, I'm going to have six of six of these, six of the y, that's a plus six. I'm going to have five of these, but I'm only going to have one of those to put together to form just three terms, x squared x number. So x squared terms. The only x squared term appearing is here, and that'll be six of these, so that's six cx. X terms. I'll just take them in order. X term will have six of these, so that's 6D, and five of these, so that's plus 10C. Now the constant term, well, I'm going to have six of those, so that's 6E. I'm going to have five of those, so that's plus 5D, and I'm going to have one of those, so it's plus 2C. And all that should equal 12X squared plus 2X minus 5. And if you do that, substituting them in, you get no marks. The final two marks for this part are for finding the coefficients and then writing out your general solution. Oh well, x squared. These two sides are the same, comparing them term by term. The x squared terms mean that 6c should equal 12, which means c equals 2. Now you get a mark. You get one mark for one of them and then the remaining marks just for the rest. The x terms, so 6d plus 10c I've got C already, plus 10 twos, should equal 2. So that's 20 raised negative 18 divided by 6 means D is negative 3. The constant term. Well, I've got 6E plus 5D, so D was negative 3, plus 2C, well C was 2, and that should come to negative 5. Negative 15, negative 11, Plus 11 makes 6, divided by 6 means E is 1. So you could say the mark comes here, or where you put it all together for the general solution, wherever. So general solution then is y equals, and here we go, a e to the negative 2x, b e to the negative 3x, so you may have put them the other way around in numerical order, 
and then the rest of it is c is plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 for the sixth mark. Bit of room just to finish it off now to get the particular solution. So I'm now going to use these initial conditions. So first of all, using this the way it is, when x equals 0, that means that the y should come to negative 6. So negative 6 equals a, now I know that's y, but I'll just put it in e to the 0, plus b, e to the 0, and of course those are all zeros apart from that 1. So unfortunately I didn't find one of them straight away, I'm going to end up with a pair of simultaneous equations, but this just says a plus b equals, and taking that across, negative 7. Now there's no mark actually allocated yet, the way they've allocated the marks is you get one mark when you differentiate that, but of course we're not going to do that until the following line, and then the next mark for the pair of simultaneous equations which result from it. Right, now, in order to use this part of the initial conditions, I need to differentiate this. dy by dx is going to be, so that'll be negative 2a, e to the negative 2x, negative 3b, e to the negative 3x, plus, and that'll be 4x minus 3. And doing that gets you a mark. Now, putting the values in, x equals 0, Oops. means now dy by dx is 3. means you get 3 for dy by dx. So that'll be negative 2a, I'll just put e to the 0 again, instead of just 1. 3b e to the 0, that's 0 of course, that's minus 3. Which means I've got this equation now. I'll just take them over there. So I'll have positives here. 2a plus 3b equals, and bringing that over is negative 6. Now you get the second mark for forming this pair here, this pair of equations in A and B. Now the remaining two marks will just be find A and B and put it all together. So I think I'll get rid of A first because it's easy, I'll just double that one. 2 take away, equation 2 take away 2 lots of equation 1. And that will give me 2a, take away 2a disappears. 3b, take away 2b is very nicely just b. Negative 6, take away 2, so negative 6 plus 14 is 8. And there's b straight away. So that gets them out for getting one of them. And then popping it back into either, if I go for number 1, a plus 8 equals negative 7, which means taking that across, a is negative 15. And then finally putting that all together, so y equals and I've got it in this order, so that's negative 15 of that. Maybe I don't want to start with a negative, maybe I'll put the b first, put this term first. So I'll put 8e to the negative 3x minus 15e to the negative 2x, and then the quadratic 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. There's the last part.